Okay, so on to the next track in the Let's Be Frank Again series, man. This one over here is Mike and the Mechanics, uh, The Living Years. I've heard of the name Mike and the Mechanics, but I don't know any of their discography. I've never heard this song either. So this should be unbelievably interesting, as were all the other ones we've reacted to so far. We've reacted to, I think, four already. This is on the, we're on the fifth one. Uh, I suggest if you're only joining now, I suggest you go back and uh, um, watch uh, from there and just follow the progression of the actual series. It's really, really great. Um, the message over here is 1988 UK. Mike Rutherford was a founding men a member of Genesis. I'll be requesting them in a special custom series. I will talk to you about it in the follow-up email for sons and daughters. Okay, um, let's uh, see what we got before we even get started. The 535 series, guys, like I've said in my other reactions, there's only three slots left. So if anybody wants to just grab those three slots, I'm leaving the link down in the pinned comment. Once those uh, three slots are, are booked up, um, and by the end of this week, it's either the three slots get booked up, um, or at the end of this week, I'll just close the form uh, entirely. And um, if we book up those three slots, then December is fully booked. And then I'll be releasing a video explaining everything about December and the mini series and the competition and absolutely everything. So, yeah. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Mike and the mechanics, the living years. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's go. actually crazy i wish i could have told him in the living years right it's like you didn't actually see it it's crazy how we only see and appreciate uh, those things once those people that we love so much um leave i told you specifically with boys and their fathers there are three three things that a, a, the, the that the child will go through he'll go through first he'll idolize so that's when he's very young he'll idolize his father then he'll demonize his father when he's a teenager, right? He can't do whatever he wants and the father puts all these restrictions on him for his benefit. Then he'll demonize his father. And then later in life, he'll humanize his father. He'll realize, shit, my father, all my, all, all my father ever wanted was the, what, what was best for me, right? And I never saw that. I never gave him his credit, right? And we tend to eat, we tend to eat our words when we were younger. Yep, that's, that's what happens, man. That's what happens. Let's go. More crumpled bits of paper Filled with imperfect thoughts Still to conversations I'm afraid that's all we've got You say you just don't see it He says it's perfect sense you just can't get agreement in this present tense. We all talk a different language. Talk well, it makes perfect sense, but we can't get into agreement in this present tense, right? We'll get into agreements later in life after I've suffered the consequences. Then we'll get into agreement. Oh, shit, maybe my father was right. This present tense. We all talk a different language. Talking in defense. Talking in defense, 100%. Say it loud. Say it clear. Oh, say it clear. As well as you hear. Beautiful. I've heard that choir sample. I've heard that choir piece somewhere. Is this from? Is it from this song? I kind of feel like I've heard that in something else, or maybe I just don't remember. 
right? But that sounds very familiar to me, that particular choir piece. It's, it's very, very familiar. As you sacrifice the future for the past right because if you just take a look at the um the social consciousness today right in the younger generation right because countries and societies did terrible things many many years ago right it means we need to sacrifice our future for what happened in the past and what the, what's crazy about it they don't realize they're sacrificing their future Right, their, their future is who is they sacrificing that they're destroying that, right? To play into this compassion card, which they're not compassionate, they don't give a fucking shit. They just want to act as if they are the righteous ones. Like people don't know that slavery is bad. Oh, slavery was bad. Oh no, shit, shit. Like I said, it also I say this all the time. You know what I mean? They always give you the most obvious. Do you know what I mean? But uh, if they lived in those times, <laughs> they would be swept up with the system as well at the end of the day but they gotta always act as if they're better than you right they're always standing on their soapbox but that's unfortunately that's youth right and uh that's the saying you know the youth is given to the young at the end of the day because you would have preferred youth when you were a little bit wiser when you're a little bit older you would have preferred youth but that's not the way it works youth is given to the young right and it's a beautiful thing because they're going to make the mistakes they're going to learn they're going to suffer through the through through actions that they uh, carry out and then suffer the consequences then blame other people and then eventually get to a point of wisdom where they realize oh shit i had agency over my own life and i fucked it all up for myself and my parents were right uh, i didn't know everything when i was 17 <laughs> you know what i mean but hey, they make their own mistakes. Every generation is going to pay the price for their stupidity. And us as adults, the fact that we're just allowing it, saying, oh no, you know, they know what they want. I mean, fucking hell. I mean, for God's sakes, they don't know, they don't know uh, absolutely anything. Like you wouldn't put important decisions in kids, in kids' hands, right? Purely because they're kids. But they're saying, no, they know better than us. They know better than, uh, than their elders. They know better. They have figured out the world in just 15 short years or 16 or 17 short years. They have figured out the world better than centuries of people that have lived here for thousands of years, right? And passed on wisdom and knowledge and all of that, passed it down to a point where, uh, um, you know, we have all of this uh, um, wisdom and they come in here 15, 16 years and everyone said, no, no, we should listen to them because they, 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 they know how the world works. Like, all right, we'll put it in their hands, see what happens. It's like putting a, a, a machine gun in the hand of like a chip and Z. What do you think is going to happen? It's the bitterness that lasts. So don't yield to the fortunes. You sometimes see his fate. It may have a new perspective on a different day. And if you don't give up and don't give in. how that hook is just absolutely a uh, hook or bridge whatever it is um it's very familiar to me man i wasn't there that morning when my father passed away i didn't 
didn't get to tell him all the things I had to say. Think I caught his spirit later that same year. I'm sure I heard his echo in my baby's newborn tears. I just wish I could have told him in the Beautiful song, yeah, very, very, very cool song. Uh, I, like I say, I, I do remember that somewhat. Um, I don't remember any of the wording. I didn't even know that this was about a story between his father and his son. Um, but that's that's a choir part over there. I've heard a couple of times going back. It's unlocked something in my memory. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below, and I will catch you in the very next one. Peace.